Hi everyone, so I have a small Dollar Tree haul and some items I picked up from the local thrift store that I want to show you today and let's get started. So let's see, I found these two, or well, we saw these two books today. This Campbell's Weeknight Cooking Book actually comes in this paper. So when you're in the store, um, you can't really, unless you just pull it out, really tell what's inside the book but I, I have looked at my mom's book already and they have some wonderful wonderful these will make great Christmas presents especially for like a newlywed um, or a new wife uh, really quick and easy meals so this is like the chicken broccoli and alfredo the balsamic, bals balsamic salmon and they just have some really pretty pictures. Just about every recipe has a picture. Salisbury steak. So this is a great book for a dollar. I mean tons and tons of pictures. And then we just so happened to stumble across this book. And I believe the Cook and Light book was there the entire time. It was back in the back behind some other books. And this is a great quality thick book with beautiful pictures and recipes for a dollar. So this is Cooking Light Lighten Up America. And I guess um, these are yeah, your favorite American foods with guilt made guilt free. So these also had some great recipes in here as well. Beautiful pictures. And I guess they're from like different places throughout the United States. And this is like monkey bread and I guess it's a way or different ingredients to show to lighten it up so I hope you guys are able to find this book it looks like it's divided into dessert and breakfast and dinner so that was a great book my mom said she may go back and get some more for gifts I also saw these wristlet keychains and I will post on Instagram the other ones but I mainly picked this up so I can find my keys easily um, to one of my cars it's hard for me to find my keys in my purse so I picked this up in purple they had other designs as well I have been trying the warm vanilla sugar bubble bath and I love the way it smells um, mainly I have been using this for my boys I love the way this smells it smells really good and also I think I picked up the lavender I probably should have picked up too, but I was just trying to be a little frugal today so and then I also picked up three of these baskets I couldn't pick which color but they had it last week but they were really up high I don't know who put them up there whose idea that was these are really sturdy really really great for a dollar and I picked up the purple one for downstairs for me the green one for my son, he loves to play with his wrestling man. He has oodles and oodles, plus he has like the old ones that my oldest had. So he loves WWE, so he has tons of those. This would be great to him for him to transport them upstairs. And then the blue one is upstairs and put it beside my bed or something like that. So I thought that would be neat for that. I picked some more of these bath wipes up for quick and easy cleanup after mealtime or whatever for Josiah so I picked up two packs of those and then also I have been eyeing this cosmetic bag I really did not need another cosmetic bag but I don't know it's just calling my name so I went on and picked this up um, it's kinda shaped a little different let's see so if you guys haven't seen these this how this is how it looks when you unzip it so it comes super it's super wide it zips really low all the way in the back and that's what it looks like on the inside and they come in pink and blue and red I believe but I want it purple and then I picked up two of the brown sugar cinnamons my boys love these I do pick up the strawberry for them but they're they always grab these first and they love them so I pick them up for the breakfast bar next 
week and they love the breakfast bar. I picked up some of these apple zings for them. What I do is I section, section it off into little bowls for them throughout the week instead of buying the single ones. I saw these McCormick different pouches, skillet sauces that they had, but this is the only one I thought that I would like the best. The sesame chicken stir fry. So I picked up two of these. So we may try this one day this week. See how that is. I also picked up, my mom actually saw these first. The cinnamon sticks and cinnamon guys. Sticks are really expensive. I think I paid three or four dollars one a year for McCormick. You can't really smell it that well through the package. So I hope that's not a sign of letting me know it's not really, really um, strong. But, um, I wanted to try it, and I think I'll go back if they have more when I go back. Yeah, I make this Cinnamon Punch Citrus Welch's Cinnamon. I got the recipe from somewhere, and I made it for Christmas one year, and the boys really loved it. And the only reason why I didn't, because I didn't have any cinnamon sticks. So, I will go back and go get another one. I also picked up some of these Betty Crocker Walnut Chops. I was really disappointed because this bag is really small. It is only 1.25 ounces. And I guess from everyone's haul, I thought this was at least a little bit bigger, at least twice. But I'm the only one that really likes chopped nuts. So, well, my husband. But I probably will make banana bread with this. I like to make banana bread when it gets cooler. Um, make a couple of them and put them in the freezer. So, that's probably not enough, but at least to make one. And I also saw this old El Paso Restaurante, uh, let's see, Baja Fish. And I actually opened up the box. My mom picked up one as well at her house. And what it comes with is 10 soft flour tortillas, crusted fish seasoning, Baja sauce seasoning for mayonnaise. So, it's actually three different things in here it's like a packet of seasoning that you mix with the mayonnaise so if that's not clear and I'm excited to try this to see what it tastes like you know to make fish tacos or whatever the only thing is we noticed that the expiration on all of them is October 26 2015 on all of them and I think I saw on Instagram another one but I don't remember what it was so we have to probably eat this this week and I just went on and picked this up, Mickey Mouse. It was a smaller pack because it was a travel pack. And also I picked up two of the Sunny D's for the breakfast bar for the boys. They really love those. And that was it from Dollar Tree other than like some knickknacks and um, let's see. Some hot dog bread and stuff like that we already used. And these items today I went to the local thrift store and... I have always wanted like one of these frames. I think Marshall's had one and it may have been seven, eight, ten dollars, I don't remember. And that's not a lot, but this one was only a dollar ninety nine. And I thought this would be really pretty for my dresser or either my vanity upstairs. So this one was at our local thrift store. Also this one, this is a reflection safety patches and it was like 50 cents so I have no idea where they got this from they actually had like four but I just picked up um, it was originally 99 cents picked up one and the boys can put this on their clothing not the boys but mainly my 10 year old also at the Habitat Humanity Restore I definitely needed another one of these to keep just like out of my cabinet this was 50 cents I saw these linen cloth napkins and they do need to be laundered. Um, that was the only one that had a bigger stain. But they need to be laundered. And I thought these were a great price for a quarter a piece. They only had four. But that was a great price for linen napkins. Also, lastly, I didn't ever show that haul where I got this silver piece from the Dollar Tree. Not Dollar Tree. Gosh, I was talking about Dollar Tree. From the Goodwill. And I also had like a little footage of how much silver that they actually had in my local thrift store. So I guess someone else must have been eyeing them as well, which I thought no one was. 
and I went back and a lot of pieces I was looking at are gone so maybe I'll put that at the end of this video so you guys can see and I did show what I found at the thrift store on Instagram but here um, is like this chafing dish this one was a little bit pricey but it says it's actually silver so I'm excited to try to see how well this gets so how well this cleans up so I'm excited to see what this is going to look like it did come with this glass um, pyrex like dish and so it was $18 that was a lot that I wanted to pay they had some other ones but I am little scared to try those so I said I'll try my hand at this one and then I'll go back and maybe get the other chafing dishes as well so guys that's all I picked up today there is this other big I may put that at the end of the video of this um, big Amor like thing that has lots of cubbies and compartments and my husband was like oh that would be great for like your craft and stuff and I was like, I thought that was so neat and thought for him to, thoughtful of him to think about that. And I'm really happy because as long as it sits there, um, after it, every 30 days, it goes down like $20. So now it's like $59. It was like $79. So anyway, hopefully I go back and get that. I'm going to have to definitely paint it because it's like this old brown rust. This is an old brown color. And I don't really like that color. And it's really big. So anyway, guys. So I hope you guys have a great weekend, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching, all my new subscribers, and Miss Reese, Risa Richardson for sending people over to my channel. Thank you, darling. Thanks so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.